Hey, it's Tegman. Time for this week's edition of The Metal Box, our weekly discussion on all things hard rock and heavy metal. This week, we got an exclusive interview with original Whitesnake guitarist Bernie Marsden. Uh, played with David Coverdale and the boys in the early days of Whitesnake. Asked him about those early days. Asked him what he's been up to these days, including a show he's got coming up. He's doing a one-off show in New York, Pauling, New York, at Daryl's house with uh, local rocker Kristen Capolino out of the Woodstock, New York area. That's going to be on March 22nd. It's a special benefit show to help out fallen heroes and veterans. So, Also asked him if he thinks Whitesnake will ever be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Check out the full interview right here. We got Bernie Marsden with us on the line, original guitarist for Whitesnake. And Bernie, so glad to have you with us. Good to chat with you. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. I'll tell you, you know, going back to the early Whitesnake days, those early albums, the great heavy blues rock that you guys created together. We're talking David Coverdale on vocals, the rhythm section of you with Mickey Moody on guitars, Neil Murray on bass, and Ian Pace on drums. Just amazing stuff. Really didn't get much better than that. No, and, you, and you've left out the great John Lord. <laughs> and John Lord, too. We can't forget John. No, no, I'll never forget John Lord. We could do a whole interview about that. Right. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> we'll schedule that for another time. How about that, Bernie? Okay, okay. So what are you up to these days? I know you've had some offshoot bands. You had the Snakes for a while. You had Company of Snakes. Yeah. I've been working solo, really, about the, the last 10 years, really, maybe maybe a little bit more. You know, I'd like to work with different people and be a bit of a solo agent. You know what I mean? I can get to play with different people and... Uh, yeah, do things like uh, the reason why we're having a chat today. It, it doesn't confine you to one situation, you know? Yeah, you're, you are going to be appearing in New York at Daryl's house. That's the club owned by Daryl Hall. It's going to be in Pauling, New York, March 22nd. Now, this is pretty cool. You're hooking up here with a great guitar talent, Kristen Capolino, who's out of the Woodstock, New York area. And there's yeah. a special show, which uh, it's... Uh, what's the name of the show? And, and tell us what's going on here with this. It's called uh, Mondial, and, and basically... Uh, it's a, a collective that Kristen puts together with uh, people she, she works with and who she knows. And I believe a, a, a lot of the funding goes towards the American uh, veterans. Yes, it's uh, actually for the Friends of Fallen Heroes New York, which helps That's out veterans and law enforcement personnel, which is a great cause. Yeah, that, well, that was the thing that initially, obviously, Chris, Kristen is a, a friend of mine and a family, but... Uh, as soon as they mentioned that, I thought, well, that's a good reason. So, you know, here I am. It's good to be over there, and I'm looking forward to it very much. Going to be a great show. Daryl's House in Pauling, New York. That's going to be on March 22nd, coming up next week. 845-289-0185 if you want to get ticket info. Now, what are you going to be playing, uh, Bernie? We're going to delve into the old White Snake catalog for some stuff? Yeah, we're going to do some of the songs. I mean, I, I guess... Uh, that great American anthem, Here I Go Again, will be uh, will be aired. Right. And, you know, I'm we'll involved in that, of course, and uh, a few other bits and pieces. But what we, Kristen and I, have talked about is we want to do a, a bit of a tribute to a guy who was a great friend of mine, and that's Gary Moore. Oh, such a great guitarist. So missed, Gary. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, him and I knew each other since we were, like, 19 years old. Wow. And uh, so to play some of his stuff is it will be, you know, a bittersweet moment for me, but I'll enjoy it and, you know, try and, try and channel that vibe and that, that, uh, that friendship we had. And uh, it's nice to carry that into the uh, modern day, with, you know, with a young, young gun like Kristen, who's a great player. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Let's go back to your days with uh, David Coverdale and White Snake. What was it like in those early days, uh, you know, recording with all those guys and touring? Well, it was very. When I look back on it, it was uh, very, very busy, very hectic. I mean, we were touring pretty much all the time, and then we would break specifically to make two records a year, right. uh, which seems crazy these days. But that's the way it was. And I would, you know, if you look back, it didn't hurt anybody. It, the creative juices were still flowing, and we managed to write some pretty good material. And it all went very, very well for you know three, four years, and. Um, and then we came to an end around about 82. David relocated to America, and he lives up in uh, Nevada, and uh, put the band back together in the mid-80s, really, uh, but uh, with kind of an American lineup. And uh, that's the band that re-recorded Here I Go Again. And uh, the rest of that is kind of history because it's become an American anthem. What was your opinion on that, Bernie, that uh, David went, he got a new band, he re-recorded a lot of the work that you did with him, uh, including Here I Go Again, Fool for Your Love, yeah. and songs like that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you got uh, songwriting credits. You got some royalties, I'm assuming. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Which is good. And, and, and that helps. 
you know, it was four or five years from between the two things. And I, I could, there was, no, there was no bitterness or anything, you know, like thinking like, oh man, that should be me. I, I, I don't kind of work like that. And I could listen to White Snake around about the 87 period and onwards and to this day, you know, when I still play with them occasionally, you know, when they come over to Europe, I very often get up on stage and guess with them, you know? That's great. But it was a different band. You know, I could listen to White Snake then as if it was Journey or Foreigner or Toto, you know what I mean? Sure. I just liked, I liked what they were doing. It wasn't the kind of thing we were doing. It was slightly more, you know, uh, adult orientated rock rather than what I was doing, kind of blues rock. But, uh, you know, a song is a, a good song is a good song, no matter as long as you have good musicians, it's always going to sound good. I got to ask you a question. You know, um, a lot of stuff you read on the internet, uh, not always true. So I figure I'll ask you if this rumor is true that's been out there. Uh, I'm sure you've been asked it before. <laughs> is it true, Bernie, that you turned down a gig with Paul McCartney and Wings to play guitar? <laughs> I tell you, I have a I have a book out, John, which 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 should be out in America at some point, and the whole story is explained in there. But what what is what happened was at the very beginning of White Snake, I was I was asked if I would be interested in working with with with, with Wings. Okay. And I had a meeting with with Paul's management, and what happened was Paul was actually at his house uh, in the states, and a week went by, and then another week went by. And it turned into like a month, and I had to ring the guys and say, look, is anything happening? Because it looks like I'm going to be forming a band with the guy from Deep Purple. Right. And so they said, well, you know, Paul isn't back. And we had a rehearsal with White, with what became Whitesnake, and the feeling was so good yeah. that I said, you know what, this is what I want to do. And I had to ring up those guys and say, well, look, thank you for considering me, you know, to be a possible part of Paul's setup. But I have to tell you, I'm going to be making this new band with the guy from Deep Purple. So that really is the story. Well, and we're so glad you did make that band. No regrets, I'm assuming, Bernie, no? I mean, and I still, you know, they say you should never work with your heroes. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that's another thing. I've seen Paul sits and, uh, you know, I got to to play with Ringo and stuff like that. So everything's okay. You know, Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not looking back and saying... I wish I had done that. That that definitely is not the case. Well, that's great to hear. And this book that you're going to be putting out, no time frame yet on when that could be out? Because that'll be an interesting read. Yeah, not at the moment. It's been out over over in in Europe for about um, about, the best part of a year now, I suppose, about 10 months. And it's available from my website. But uh, I I will sort out a proper publisher in, 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 uh, in America at some point because I do get a lot of interest about it. There's a lot of good stuff in there, you know, band wise and. being on the road, really, with a big band and going behind the scenes. That's kind of what it's like, really. And give that website out so people can check you out, see what you're up to, and maybe purchase yeah, the book. www.berniemarsden.com Bernie, I'm curious to know your thoughts on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Do you think White Snake will ever be inducted? Well, that would be nice. That would be an honor. I think, uh, you know, the, the work we put in and the work that's been done subsequently, you know, is on a par with some of the people that, that have been inducted. And uh, all, all I know is what happens every year on a yearly basis, how much white snake gets played on the radio. And obviously the majority of that is, is, is here I go again. And, uh, it's, it's one of those, uh, songs that is in the psyche of people. And, uh, that seems to be what is the, one of the criteria for being mentioned in those kind of honorable things, you know, but sure. you know, hey, what, what happens, what happens is, 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 is up to other people, not me. Well, Bernie, you're going to be playing at Daryl's house in Pauling. It's March 22nd. Is this a one-off show you're doing here in the States? It is. Christine and I, we met each other a few years ago with through through guitar companies and stuff, and she's a great player, and, you know, I like her. She's a lovely person. And, you know, I just thought it was when, when she asked me to come over and be involved in this, I don't play that much in America, and uh, it's nice to be there. Last time I was in New York, I think I played at Les Paul's Club, which was, which was nice. And then I'm actually coming to the States again um, in May. But uh, this will be the first off, you know. But it's, it's the reason for the gig, which is more important to me at the moment than, you know, the reasons for doing it have to be right. So that's that's why I'm coming over. All right. Well, come on out and see the show. Kristen Capolino featuring Bernie Marsden, uh, going to be performing some White Snake classics, also going to be doing a, a tribute to the great late Gary Moore, which is just going to be great yeah. to see. That's March 22nd, and Friends of Fallen Heroes, they've got uh, some of the proceeds going to that, so a great cause. Bernie, pleasure to talk with you. and uh, Thank you, man. Looking forward to seeing the show. Going to be a lot of fun.
Um, I'm going to get some practice in this weekend because I'm playing with Joe Bonamassa for a couple of nights. Oh, an- another great, talented guitarist <laughs> right there. Where are those shows? In the UK? Those shows are in the UK, yeah. We're doing something which uh, I can't – I'm doing something – with him as well, but I can't really go into that. Ah, so, okay. Come on, you're I not. Let you, know. you can't give me the scoop. It's a bit. T- I get in a lot of trouble. To be honest, I did. I understand. So I'm, I'm going. I'm going up to see him this weekend. Joe and I, you know, we've been friends for way over ten years now, and you know, he's one of the good guys, and uh, he ain't a bad player. Well, have some great shows with him. Yeah, he's a hell of a player, and we look forward to seeing you in Pauling, New York, March 22nd. I'm looking forward to it. You know, getting over the next week, and the show is that next Thursday, and. Uh, you know, it's going to be uh, special. And uh, playing with Kristen is always fun, and uh, she's such a, a joy to be around. So uh, good good people of uh, Paul in New York or whatever. Yeah, you, you got it. Thanks, Bernie, for your time. Great chatting. You're very welcome. All the best. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Metal Box. Thanks for tuning in. The Rock and Roll Limo has arrived. We'll see you next week.